Hey my cookies, today I'm going to show you the easiest way to make a delicious and juicy brisket in the slow cooker. Let's cook. Starting with a four pound brisket flat. This was the only cut they had available at the meat market. It's a little thinner than a regular brisket, which is okay if you're using a thicker brisket, perfectly fine. I'm patting in this rub that I was sent by this company. It's an applewood chipotle rub and it's apple absolutely delicious i'll link it in the description box if you'd like to purchase this is not sponsored guys it's just really really good also if you would like to make this homemade i have an amazing homemade recipe for a rub that you can use in the brisket i will add that to the link in the description box but the most important part is you want to coat every part of your brisket so once we're done covering our brisket, you want to allow it to rest at room temperature for about 35 to 40 minutes before placing it into our crock pot or slow cooker. Make sure you spray your slow cooker with nonstick cooking spray, then place the brisket in fat side up. I did it wrong initially, but after I filmed this five minutes later, I was like, oh God, I'm tripping. So I went over, flipped it back over, and we're going to allow this to cook on low for 10 to 12 hours. There's no high cooking option for this brisket, okay? 10 to 12 hours in the slow cooker. My brisket was completely done after 10 hours and it smelled amazing. As you can see, I corrected it and flipped it over so that the fat side is up. If you're like me and you like those burnt ends, you can transfer your brisket onto a baking sheet and broil it in the oven for about five minutes until it's as charred as you like. But my family prefer it just like this, so I was nice and I allowed them to have it this way. <laughs> but I saved that um, point for the burnt ends for me, of course. But as you can see, there's a lot of liquid in there that is completely from the fat of the brisket no additional liquid was added now if you charred your brisket or if you're serving it fresh out the crock pot it's very important to wrap it in some foil and allow it to rest at room temperature so that those juices settle and i allow it to rest for 45 minutes to an hour yes you have to wait after it has rested be sure to cut it against the grain and serve look how extremely juicy this brisket is again mine is a bit thinner because i have the flat cut but it will work just the same way if you have a thicker cut of brisket the recipe link is down there in the description box thank you so very much cookies i hope you enjoyed this recipe i love barbecue brisket so i had to slather on a little bit of sauce and it was bomb again thank you guys for watching give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this i gotta eat until next time be blessed